In today's video I will be showing you the most easiest way of taking down the juggernaut and getting the special weapon caches which will be rewarding you with different things if you collect 7 of them. By collecting the 7 cache and exfilling successfully with it, you will be rewarded with this operator skin so you 100% want to complete this but it is quite difficult. In today's video I will walk you through on how to complete it solo super easily because there's a pretty OP strategy for this. Before we get into the video and I leave you off to me just walking you through how to complete everything, if you're new here be subscribed. We're under rotating 40,000 subscribers and we're about to hit 36,000 so thank you so much for that I really really do appreciate you I can't thank you enough for just how amazing it has been recently on this YouTube channel and also be sure to drop a like on the video without further ado let's get right into it so I don't waste your time okay before we fully get in there's a bit of a tips and tricks that I want to give you for your weapons and as crazy as it may sound I recommend for you to not spawn in with any weapon the reason for that is because this will actually be quite difficult you kind of have to get into a zone of understanding of what you have to do so just in case if you don't want to lose like a bunch of weapons really fast and solo then just don't spawn in with anything don't worry i will tell you the best way to find weapons in a minute but you want to equip a stim shot for your tactical and for your lethal something that you can throw and like kill an enemy which will be one way that you can get a which will be one way that you can get like a weapon off of an enemy so i'm going to equip a molotov and another thing you want to equip is a munitions box because this will allow you to just get ammo really fast now i'm going in completely empty i've died multiple times already doing this myself and i've learned that going in without no loadout is probably the best method obviously you don't want to equip any other like challenges or anything because there's no point like you're just gonna be going in and trying to take down the actual juggernaut and exfilling with his stuff so just in case like just go in solo like this empty handed but you can find weapons so let's hop right in and i will walk you through what to do exactly okay when you successfully load in the first thing you want to do is open your map as you can see this is where the juggernaut is located and what i want to do is look for the nearest vehicle so I can actually get out of here. Okay, so we have a cargo truck or a boat. I could take a boat and get over there really fast, but I also want to look for a, for a weapon. So it also does depend on where you spawn. Now, another thing you want to do is quickly scope out because you want to be looking for three or two other vehicles. One of them is this one, an LVT, which I don't seem to have near me unless I'm completely blind. Well, another one is a cargo truck, which is just a big monster that can take stuff down. And another one is an armor truck, which is over here. Perfect. So that's the one that I'm going to go try to go for, but it is in a stronghold, so it is risky. So I'm going to have to get my truck, drive all the way over there and try not to die. Now, there is one more vehicle that you can get at a buy station and it is one that you can pay like eighteen thousand dollars which is a lot but as a return you will receive a vehicle that is very good with its health and has very good protection and i i really recommend it but it does require you to collect a lot of money so if you want to be looking around for money and other stuff like that that's one way of going about it another thing again i need to do and when you spawn in if you spawn in with no weapons is look for a weapon but i'm gonna just worry about getting off of this island which is one of many spawns you can get there's actually a building here i want to quickly drive up and see if there's any enemies the basic idea is be cautious as hell you all have to be careful don't worry about players just got armored there so that's perfect no i want to keep my molotov uh you need to worry mainly about the bots they will be your biggest issue and not the actual players there's a very small chance that you'll actually run into them early on perfect there we go see look how easy it is to find weapons just found two they might not be the best but they're still weapons you know there's still ones that i can just use as a protection actually look at this the mini back is fully pimped out you can find different versions with different attachments and thankfully i got very lucky right now with this one so I'm just going to scope out this area, collect some ammo, some other stuff, and be on my way to that armored truck. One thing I need to mention about the armored trucks, they're usually located around a very large amount of AI. So it is a very risky one to go to, but it is a good one because it does have a way bigger amount of health than a normal truck does, or at least a normal vehicle. And it's just one that will prove to be very useful. Now you might be wondering, why do you want a vehicle? Well, if you didn't know, a car or any vehicle at all will take down the juggernaut with one shot or at least if you bump into him enough times. Now the reason you want an armored one is because, you know, the juggernaut has a minigun, so you gotta deal with that. And on top of that, you do have to deal with a bunch of AI, so it is a risky situation. Okay, so I'm getting closer and closer. Another thing you have to be careful for, which I have kind of been a bit careless about, is driving off of mountains there's a lot of situations where you can pop your tires and when you pop your tires it's kind of difficult to get out of here but look you see how many enemies around this oh perfect i'm gonna drive into the guy that has oh, 
a rocket and I'm gonna quickly get in oh there's more that have rockets oh god oh god this is a very uncomfortable situation that this truck was in but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep driving see if you just get in as fast as possible you can get out successfully now a way to repair vehicles and refuel them up is going to a gas station but the thing with gas stations is that they can be sometimes extremely overrun so here we have a marine gas station i don't think that would fuel it up but we do have a gas station inside of that location this whole area will be absolutely surrounded by enemies before i go in i'm just going to equip an armor plate and from here once you enter you just drive around as much as you can and look for the juggernaut driving around in circles let's see if i can actually fuel up oh maybe he's around here somewhere hello guys anybody nope okay just gonna cross the bridge now you might run out of fuel, of course. You can also find jerry cans around the map, which is another thing I'd recommend. Or you can also just find another vehicle inside of this location. Okay, so I've been kind of driving back and forth, staying inside of the vehicle because you are protected more than you are outside. And I'm trying to get all of these guys to die so I can uh, fuel up my car. But this is proving to be more difficult with the car itself. There we go. And the vehicle just fuels up by itself when you're near it. And I still cannot find a juggernaut. So it's just... It's just patience that you need to have. Just wait until he shows up. He's somewhere around the map, but the question is, where? Now, obviously, your location will look a slight bit different. It won't look the exact same like mine. Oh my god. This is actually the multiplayer map. Uh, there's a possibility that he could be somewhere in here in the middle, because this is like a hotspot. The actual cache icon isn't always guaranteed to be the place where he will spawn, but that's what I want to test out right now. Just stay around this area. Oh, there he is. Perfect. So there's our juggernaut, just drive into him and he died. As you just saw there, he instantly died. Now pick up the cash, don't die. Oh God, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. See, I just got the cash, that was extremely easy. The juggernaut just spawned. So I guess the place where he can spawn, almost guaranteed, is where the actual cash is located. And as you saw, I just bumped into him. I just bumped into the juggernaut and he just died straight away. So I'm now gonna drive away just so I can kind of re-establish what just happened. Okay, I'm gonna go to this exfil, even though there's a bad guy there. Mm, nah, let's go to this exfil. Maybe we can fuel up on the way there. Just keep in your vehicle if you have to, just switch out. An armored one isn't absolutely necessary anymore, but, you know, it's obviously best to have. I think I might have taken the wrong route. Now, also do bear in mind, you are marked on the map, I do believe, so other players can come up and kill you. But since there's so many people that just leave, it's a very high possibility that you won't really have anyone coming for you. So I just called it my exfil. The car is really low on health and fuel. So I'm just going to get out and kind of be cautious around this area with all the AI. All I have to do is just run into the chopper as it lands. So it isn't too shabby. Just kill all the AI. Annoying. Now the cool thing is, I'm going to get to keep this weapon when I exfil. So I really do like that. Okay, that was really close. Use my stim. Heal up. That's why you want to stim it. The chopper is nearly here. Okay, I, I have no idea where that AI is. Okay. Okay, and you have 30 seconds, so just run, 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 run. And I'm basically done. Just hide kind of in the middle and be cautious. And that's how easy it is. Just grab a vehicle, preferably an armored one. Don't spawn it with any weapons, just in case if you lose them. And then exfil. And yeah, successfully exfilling and i'm gonna get the reward which is my second cache that i'm actually gonna exfil with and i'm just gonna do this multiple times and it's super easy to complete you get a bunch of xp you get a bunch of battle pass xp and of course again you take down the juggernaut super easily like ridiculously easily successfully exfilled i don't know if the reward pops up first oh there we go two out of seven rewards earned and i got a biohazard weapon sticker now if you don't know on the seven reward you will be receiving an operator skin so that's why you kind of want to complete this it's a free operator outfit for koenig it looks really cool i have it on your screen right now and that's what you get for the seven reward you've successfully exfilled back out and now you have it unlocked on everything multiplayer everything you also can get a weapon blueprint and other stuff like that so thank you so much for watching hopefully this guy did help you out hopefully me walking through this actual thing helped you out in some kind of way of understanding of how to complete this and yeah good luck if you have any other questions be sure to comment down below and i will see you guys in the next one peace out